With the new iPhone 13, Apple has made it really, really simple to transfer your data from your old phone into your new phone. So I wanna make this video to show you exactly how to do it. And since I update this video every year, I'll answer some of the questions at the end of the video that I previously got. And if you wanna keep your phone number here and you're using the same provider, you will have to remove your SIM card from your old phone and bring it into your new phone and I'll show you that at the end. I usually do that right at the end of this transfer process. So this is the iPhone 12. In my right hand is the iPhone 13, and this works with any iPhone 13. I have the Pro here, but it works with Macs and Mini and the regular iPhone 13 as well. If you already opened yours up and you set it up as a new phone, you have to reset this before you start this transfer process. If you haven't done that and yours is brand new, just out of the box, then you could just skip the next 30 seconds or so. But if you set it up to reset your phone here to the factory default, go to settings, and this is again the brand new iPhone 13. We'll go to general here, and then let's go all the way down, and let's go ahead and go to reset iPhone, and we want to reset, erase all content and setting. Press this. So this will erase everything. That's okay because I already have it on my older iPhone and I'm gonna bring it into this new phone. I'm gonna press continue, type in my passcode. And since I already have everything on my old phone, I'm not gonna actually even put this into iCloud because I'm not gonna use iCloud for this method. I'm gonna erase everything, type in my Apple ID password, right on top, press turn off and then press erase iPhone. Now this is gonna turn this iPhone 13 back to the factory setting, basically exactly how I got it when I open the box. So if you never went through the setup process, now we're both in the same place. We basically have a brand new iPhone 13 here. So if you did this right, you should see the welcome screen on your new iPhone 13, and this is your older iPhone. It doesn't matter which older iPhone you have, put them next to each other like this. Now I'm gonna go ahead and charge up the new iPhone because it is not fully charged. So I'm gonna make sure I plug in this to power and this is just a power cable that came with my iPhone. So I wanna make sure this is charged up. This has more than half a charge, so it should be okay. Then I'm gonna, on the new iPhone 13, slide up here, choose the language here. I'm gonna press continue. And look at this, by default, if they're next to each other, you're gonna get an activation like this. So if it doesn't, make sure you turn on Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on your old phone here. So I had to unlock this and lock it and take it away, bring it back, have Bluetooth and Wi-Fi turned on, and now I could press continue to unlock. Then on the new iPhone, you'll see some kind of a signal that you have to scan with your old phone. So bring your old phone right on top of your new one. It's gonna do a quick scan here. And then it's gonna ask for the passcode of your old iPhone. So I'm gonna type in that passcode. So I could set up Face ID. I'm gonna go ahead and continue to set that up. You just pick this up and move your head around to get the face ID on your new phone. When the face ID is done, press continue here. And here you could have two options. You could transfer from an iCloud backup. So if you use iCloud to backup this phone, you could use this option. But this is the one I'm showing you in this video because as long as these phones are next to each other and you went through this process, you could press this option. But I usually choose this option here and I'll let this process continue here I agree to terms. And here I do want everything, including settings, including connection to my Apple Watch, everything to transfer from this phone to this phone. So I'm gonna press continue. I'm gonna agree to the update. If you have Apple Cash or if you use Apple Pay, it's going to ask you to continue to link those. So I'm gonna agree to that. It's asking you if you wanna double tap to use Apple Cash, I'll say yes. And the transfer process is starting now between my old iPhone and my new iPhone 13. And I did have in the beginning, I turned on Bluetooth and Wi-Fi here. And this is just plugged into power here just to make sure this new phone doesn't die. And then you could see it says time remaining three hours. But in my experience, this does go much faster than that. But if you haven't started yours, just know that your older iPhone here is going to be locked up and your new iPhone is gonna be locked up while this is happening. Right now, there's nothing I could do with either of these phones. I have to set them next to each other like this, and there's nothing I could do but to cancel this process if I need to make a call or use my phone. I'll let you know at the end how long it took in total for me.
Okay, the transfer took about an hour in my case here and it has completed. So on my old iPhone, I'm gonna see transfer complete and then it's gonna prompt me on the old iPhone to erase this phone. Now, if you're getting rid of this phone, you could go through the erasing process. But right now, I'm not gonna do that just yet. I'm gonna press not now. You could always do that in the settings of the phone under general and resets. Now, if you see this phone, you could see it says waiting. So you do have to make sure you connect to Wi-Fi here because it's going to install all the apps. So once everything does get installed, then everything will look exactly the same. So it's actually going through the process and everything that says waiting is going through the installation of that app. And the final thing I'll mention is that in the case of every iPhone, you will have this SIM card removal tool. So it looks like this. And with this SIM card removal tool, you can remove the SIM card now of your old iPhone and put it in the new iPhone. And as long as you have the same service, so I'm going from an AT&T phone to an AT&T phone, it will work just fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that here, but you can get this done at your service provider as well. So look on the side of your phone and it kind of looks like this, this SIM card tray. And if you press this down, I'm gonna set this down here. If you press this into this hole here, it will pop up just like this and it will say no SIM card. And then you'll take this out and then take out the SIM card. And this is what the SIM card looks like. So you could just take this out and then put it in the new one. So here's the SIM card tray of the new one. I'll pop this out and I'll take this out as well. And this one doesn't have any, it's a blank tray. So I could take this, here's the SIM card in the new tray. I could bring it into my new iPhone, insert, make sure it's flush. And now if I look on top, it should recognize this new SIM card and I should start getting phone calls and text messages on this phone here. And you can see that here, I have full bars here, but my old iPhone won't work anymore with a signal. It has transferred here, but they both have the exact same information now because I chose not to reset this phone. So as long as this goes through and downloads all the apps and all the data and all the photos, these two phones will have identical information until I choose to erase the old iPhone and give it to someone else or sell it to someone else. I hope you found this video useful. I do have a ton of videos covering the new options with the iPhone 13 and every iPhone that comes out. So consider subscribing and I'll see you next time.